The Hunter's Dream, a comforting refuge, and one made even more so by the presence of the doll. Hello, good hunter. I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. She is wholly dedicated to the well-being of the hunter, always standing ready to meet their arrival. However, from time to time, she becomes distracted, perhaps by some long-lost memory, or simply the hunter's absence. And on the most rare of occasions, the doll's distraction may let slip something interesting. Oh, Flora, of the moon, of the dream. Hello everyone, my name is Lance, and today we're going to pull back the curtain and find out what exactly it is that triggers these incredibly uncommon, and in some cases almost entirely unseen, moments with the doll in the hunter's dream. Early on in Bloodborne, the doll introduces herself to the hunter. You will hunt beasts and I will be here for you. After this has happened, upon subsequent visits to the dream, sometimes the hunter will come to find that the doll has fallen asleep in her usual spot. If approached, the bottom section of the screen is darkened, as if dialogue is being delivered. This fades away after a moment, or can be dismissed by pressing the action button. She won't wake up on her own if she falls asleep here, and needs to be awoken by the hunter. Ah. <sighs> Welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? If we switch the game language to Japanese, there is actually a minor subtitle for the moment where she's approached while asleep. This also gives us a chance to hear her Japanese voice work. Ah,お帰りなさい,カリウタ様. <gasps> すみません。so what causes her to drift off like this? It is simply, in fact, entirely random. To be specific, every time the hunter visits the dream, there is an exactly 10% chance that this will occur, regardless of any other factor. There is a grave in the hunter's dream, of course there are many, but just one bears a special meaning for the doll. From time to time, on rare occasion, the hunter will find her here, kneeling in silent prayer. Her eyes are closed, but she is awake. We can tell that she is awake, because when approached, she notices the hunter and regains her composure. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? She gives no apology and simply resumes her normal conversation. May you find your worth in the waking world. Just as before, this too occurs on a purely random basis, also being an exactly 10% chance each time the hunter returns to the dream. However, there is one caveat to this. If the hunter has ever travelled to the hunter's nightmare, then from that moment on, the doll will never kneel at this grave ever again. When the hunter defeats the vacuous Rom, breaking the ritual secret in the waking world, things also change in the dream. The sky darkens, and even the music takes on a more somber tone. And something else changes with regard to the doll. Provided that the hunter's nightmare has still not yet been visited, then indeed she still has a 10% chance of kneeling silently at the grave. But now something else is possible. From here on, as long as the hunter still has never stepped foot in the hunter's nightmare, there is now a 2% chance of this far more rare event occurring. At first, it appears the same as the 10% chance event, but this time the doll is actually asleep, and if approached, we hear her speak. Oh, Flora, of the moon, of the dream. Oh, little ones, O oh, fleeting will of the ancients. Let the hunter be safe. Let her find comfort. And let this dream, her captor, foretell a pleasant awakening. And so the hunter has had a chance to hear her prayer. After this, despite the hunter standing close, she remains asleep, and when spoken to, she'll finally wake up. Ah, welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? 
The final line of her prayer, let this dream, their captor, foretell a pleasant awakening, is interesting, because this will actually change, depending on one more very specific condition. In the waking world, there is an old abandoned workshop. Here too, there is a doll, albeit lifeless. But there is also something else. A very small, ordinary hair ornament. Returning to the dream, with the hair ornament in their possession, the hunter is able to give this to the doll. What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, hunter. Could this be joy? Ah. This evokes some sense of nostalgia in the doll, a concept with which she was previously unfamiliar, and one she now goes on to work into her prayer. With this done, there remains still a 2% chance of the hunter hearing the doll in prayer at the grave, but now her prayer will always have a new line added at the end. O oh, Flora of the Moon of the dream. O oh, little ones, O oh, fleeting will of the ancients, let the hunter be safe, let her find comfort, and let this dream, her captor, foretell a pleasant awakening, be one day a fond, distant memory. I really love this detail because it shows us how the doll had never experienced a feeling of nostalgia until the hunter gave her the small hair ornament, and she enjoyed it so much that she felt compelled to add to her prayer a wish that the hunter would also feel nostalgic for the dream someday. What's happening to me? Be one day a fond, distant memory. When given the chance, the hunter may choose to submit to German and finally see the sun rise over Yarnum. If this has been done, a new stone appears, the Hunter's Grave. Much like the previous unmarked grave, as long as the Hunter has never visited the Hunter's Nightmare, there is also a 10% chance that the doll will kneel at this grave upon arrival in the dream. When normally arriving, the Hunter stands too close to the grave, and the doll stands up immediately, making it a little hard to notice that she was kneeling at all. By quitting the game and reloading while standing a little further away though, we can see that she does kneel. And as before, she isn't actually asleep, and will stand up when approached. This time she'll actually explain the significance of this grave to the hunter. This grave stands in memory of a hunter I once knew. Though enchanted by the dream, she remains strong and eventually saw the light of dawn. I pray that you found meaning and comfort in the waking world. But she'll only do this the first time that she's found here. And once again, once the vacuous Rom has been defeated, there is now a 2% chance that she will actually be asleep at this grave when the hunter arrives, and she'll also recite her prayer here. O oh, Flora of the Moon, of the Dream, O oh, little ones, O oh, fleeting will of the ancients, let the hunter be safe, let her find comfort, and let this dream, her captor, foretell a pleasant awakening. <gasps> ah, welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? Her prayer, of course, will end with the line appropriate to whether or not the hunter has given her the nostalgic hair ornament yet. And let this dream, her captor, foretell a pleasant awakening. Be one day a fond, distant memory. However, on top of all of this, there is something else. The doll has one last random behaviour that was, to some degree, actually cut from the game. To witness this, 
we need to actually delete Bloodborne from our console and reinstall the original version of the game from the disc without installing any updates, taking us all the way back to version 1.0. This is because the very first patch for Bloodborne removed one small piece of content, and we're going to take a look at that right now. Just to start things off, here in version 1.0 there is a minor change to the randomization. If the hunter has previously witnessed a Yarnum sunrise, there is still a 10% chance that the doll will be kneeling at the hunter's grave upon arrival. But now she can recite her prayer at any time of the day, regardless of whether the vacuous Rom has been defeated. O oh, Flora, of the moon, of the dream. However, the chance of her reciting her prayer here has been reduced to only 1% instead of the 2% that it is in the updated versions. But with regard to her prayer, something is dramatically different in version 1.0. Every time that the doll recites her prayer, there is a 50% chance that her prayer will instead be changed to this lullaby. <laughs> She will only ever do this in version 1.0, and she will only ever do it at one of the two graves. While sleeping in her usual spot, she still remains silent every time. So not only is this an extremely rare event, it also only ever occurs in the unpatched game, as it was removed in version 1.01. .01. However, there is still one last thing. On that incredibly rare occasion that we are running version 1.0 and the hunter happens upon the doll humming this lullaby in her sleep, if we quit the game here without leaving the dream, and then upgrade the game to the latest version, we'll trigger a glitch. By upgrading the game at this specific moment, the flag that was removed from the game, which triggers the lullaby, will actually get jammed on for this save file. When this happens, from then onwards, any time the doll is supposed to say her prayer, or silently falls asleep at her usual spot, she will instead always hum this lullaby. <laughs> And she will never say her prayer again. So in an incredibly rare edge case scenario, it is in fact possible to have the doll hum a lullaby in her sleep at her usual spot. So considering the esoteric steps involved, I'm confident saying that this was clearly never intended to actually be triggered deliberately. We've obviously covered a lot of information here, so I'll leave a comment below just giving the raw numbers and criteria for every one of these events. But I hope you found it at least a little interesting to finally know exactly what triggers these rarely seen moments. It's a little disappointing to find out that random chance plays a key role here, but also nice to know how little actions such as the hair ornament or time of day can have a dramatic effect as well. Regardless, it took a lot of work to reverse engineer all of these events, especially that situation with the lullaby, so if you did enjoy this, feel free to let me know by hitting the like button, or even leaving a friendly comment below. You can find more ways to follow and support my work in the description, and either way, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Mm-hmm.